canal barge. You may have seen cars being done. It's not a narrowboat, it's wider than a narrowboat. And it's not a wide beam. Well, there is a wide beam. It's an in-betweener. It's an in-betweener beam. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that should be an interesting one. Uh, the cafe afloat is going to be... Uh, have, have a face. So, last day of 2021. Right. On the last day of trading in the old format. Hello mate. We are Cafe Afloat, their last day before we take it in for refurbishment. We have new signage and new colours and the boat will be wrapped. They're all in there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Smile at the camera now, Jared. <laughs> so they're all wrapping up. Hiya. <laughs> who's, who's collecting the food? Someone from the homeless shelter. Right. They have broken down. Oh no, so, so what are you going to do? They're now not coming to collect the food, so we'll just keep it for the next few days. And so they might be able to come and collect it yeah. tomorrow or, tomorrow or, or, later or, today or yeah. at some point. So we'll just keep it in the fridges. Keep yeah, it nice absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. So the boats, when's the boat going over to the... There's the dry dock over there. Ooh, just over there in the background. There. And that will be going over when? Do you know? Could be as early as Saturday. Oh. Huh? What are you doing down there? It's quite a long <laughs> I'm doing an interview. I'm going to be That's famous for you. <laughs> Drawn it, and she's now going to put good. the jam in it. No, oh, I'm just going to put the heart on first. Because oh. I really nice. heart you. Oh. Cream's on top. Jam is. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I could do a slice of that now. I was going to make a cake, but I've run out of time now because I've been too busy for it. Oh, <laughs> lovely job. And in a few minutes' time, once I've taken a picture, we will drop it into the imagery, something like that, for something else I'm doing as well. There we go. So it's Monday the 3rd of January and Cafe Float has now gone into the dock. Uh, making a start on all the preparations to trip it down. Well you're on target aren't you? I mean you've, you've achieved quite a bit in one day. So can we put an order in for a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Been a hard week, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you're as well, isn't it? Not used to... How's it going, Dave? Coming all right. Good. Friday afternoon, it's been a hard, hard week, isn't it? Tell me about it. Yeah. Looking good though, mate. Everything's looking flat and smooth. Yeah. This is what the 
both looks like before being wrapped. And the top's been painted. The sign posts are up. The, the um, menu's going to be along the top there, and obviously that's where the awning comes out. And they've arrived now to do some of the wrapping. And there's me thinking it was going to be wrapped with a big bow, but no, it's vinyl wrapping, which is guaranteed for 10 years um, against uh, scratching and fading. However, if it gets, it's not suitable really for, for cruising because the side gets scratched by uh, trees, it, it, they can't guarantee for that. So, because Dave's boat will be in situ all the time, it won't get scratched, so it, it will be perfect, wrapping is perfect for it. There's a lovely paint job on the top which Jason has done. So the guys have made the start now. So how long have you been doing this, Ben? Uh, I've been doing it for about 10 years now. Have you? But not boats. Boats is fairly new. Um, it's getting more popular. Is it? I think because it's quicker as well, rather than having a, a, a new spray gun. So what's the normal? Cars, vans, lorries? Cars and vans mostly. A lot of vans with the printed deck, um, uh, sign writing and yeah. stuff like that. But Cars for the colour changes. Ben was explaining previously they used the, the roll and ran it horizontally, but it's a little bit more problematic. So uh, they cut the lengths and put them on individually. Because you've got all these. Oh, yeah. If you had one big sheet from start to finish, it'd just be too much, too many problems. At least I can put around this now. Okay, that yeah. What do you think, boss? Looking good. Yeah. What do you think? Pardon? What do you think? I think it was great. Well, I mean, there's a lot more to go, but uh, that's looking very smooth there, isn't it? And so there's, there's Paul, the boss here. But uh, unfortunately, these are on the other side, and it's a bit difficult to. Uh, uh, capture what he's doing up against the wall. So, for the moment, we'll keep an eye on Ben. Thing is, I'll be giving away all your trade secrets, and everyone will know how to do it now. There's one of the new anodes. Um, it's gone on yesterday, I think. And there's uh, an old one. And I believe the boat's been in the water for about five years. So that's um, five years of deterioration on that. Yeah, one of them likes to wrap the painting on the other, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When we cover um, stars with like architectural vinyls and uh, to get accredited, you have to go over to like Luxembourg, uh, Paris, do like a course. Um, and they had like bells like that as part of the, yeah. the training thing, but no one got them on that well. 
got him long enough to pass, but yeah, just uh, that, just pie and chicken. You can do, yeah. So Ben, does um, does Paul pay you by the meter? Yeah. Oh, is there any sort of elasticity in that film, or is it? It's got 30% stretch. Is it? If you stretch it too much, when the heat gets to it, it will just shrivel. And so we try not to stretch it, especially with a flat panel like this. Yeah. We try to just install it the lamps and uh, just try to pull it so it's a little bit tighter than that, really, just to get rid of the crinkles. But um, it moves quite well, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's not a there's no adhesive on the back of it. There it's is. There is adhesive, but it doesn't really set until it's had the pressure of the squeegee on and then heat afterwards. Ah, right. So after two days, this will be fully adhered to the... And the mushrooms are being painted as well. Nothing therapeutic about sand in the we, boat. We were just saying about black in the boat. Black in the boat is quite easy. Painting the sides and stuff is harder. And when we're talking about the sides going up, it's really going to pop. Brilliant. You have worked really hard this week, though. I worked harder this week, but I've never worked in my life, I think. Taking all the sand and it all down. You've had a few busy weeks. I know. It's supposed to have two weeks off in, in Barbados. I ain't going to happen, is it? <laughs> I've ordered off eBay a machine gun turret for the top. <laughs> <laughs> is that for your vegan customers? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and what, what does the launch entail, champagne? No, I've got no money left. <laughs> yeah. We've got some fizzy water in there, we might use that. Yeah. And a plastic bottle, because you really don't yeah, want don't to scratch the paint. Yeah, definitely don't want to scratch the paint. I've got about probably a day's work refitting everything back on, all the fold down steps and. Oh, yeah. Uh, rubber stoppers for everything so they don't open the doors on, you know what yeah. I mean, and all that kind of thing. Down the middle of the boat. That's the plan. And where are the lights going so the Harrier can land? Um, either side of those. <laughs> We're dead for aren't we? <laughs> It's not that battleship. It's, I, it's too, I'm surprised we haven't had a slap yet. <laughs> it's too dark for battleship grey. No, it's isn't actually. It? I, I really like it. Looks lovely. Battleship grey. Is that kind of colour, isn't it? Yeah. You can see the mist outside. This means uh, we've got lovely blue skies out there waiting to uh, waiting to light us up. But it's uh, it's really cold, which is proving really tricky for the guys doing the wrapping. Uh, Jason, the overseer, keeping an eye on everyone. The big boss. Can you sort the weather out, Jason? Yeah, nice and warm, isn't it? Jason is rigging up some light, uh, some heat in here now. Dave's reconnecting his uh, feed for his power. you got two feeds, have you? Yeah, it's at 16 and at 32. Right, yeah. Right, Dave. Day three. Awesome oh, condition. <laughs> Each day I've come with an extra layer. Timing, eh? It's all about timing. Yeah. This, this is the only time of the year that the boat could come out of the water and, and be done. That's the problem. the trading time, but it's the worst time of the year from your point of view. Yeah, so this heat is helping a little bit. Yeah. I'm just trying to warm it up myself as well. Yeah. Well. It's all looking good. The film being so cold, or the 
air being cold, they can't work it properly. But they've tracked on, so just doing the um, coach lines now. Huh? Lines on this side. What uh, software did you use for uh, that? So that's uh, pages of um, on, on a Mac um, with uh, the old fonts are in there and it's just some imagery I did. The only thing I didn't have any control over was the uh, original image for the cafe afloat. Yeah. But, um, so I thought you might have had problems with that, but how, how did you get around that then, Paul? Uh, there's a bit, bit of uh, pixelation in it. Uh, it's an old sort of 72 DPI image. Uh, there's a little bit of sort of black noise as well. The small images aren't too bad. The bigger images, ideally, could have done with being recreated in a vector format. Yeah, um, yeah. But Dave's had a look at them. He's happy with them as they are. But we're given that option if, if he wants to, we can reprint them in a different format. Yeah, I think it, it, that was. Uh... We did. I, I did recreate it. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Cause he, he's, he's, I, I mentioned it to him. I said you need reprinting, really. Um, so we recreated it in a, in a vector format, but he's had a look at it and he said it happened with Matthew Arsenal. Yeah. He did show me, I didn't realise, it was from uh, Jackie's original artwork, the previous owner of the boat. Yeah. Um, so I think you did well then. But uh, yeah, it's all starting to come together now. So there we are, the boat is now floating. Are you pleased with how it's gone? Yeah. Apart from the cold. So here we have the sides. So I'm quite fancy. Um, oh, quite fancy the breakfast at Rocks right now because it's cold. It's I'll be waiting a long time for that because they're not open. Just a shame. I'll be cooking my own tea today. And there's the drinks options. So that's looking really cool. So, uh, Jason's just getting the boats off uh, Cafe of Floats morning and he's putting these in the lock. Getting ready for uh, the Cafe boat to come back out. It's a glorious morning. So, the boat is back on this morning, and as you come through from the locks, or down the canal. No, I've got a sign where you can see it. With all this new paint job. And um, Blue's been getting lots of uh, nice comments. And uh, everybody's really positive and enthusiastic about it. About her. Oh. That is how to wrap an arrow boat.